Thursday morning, parents in Kent stood outside of Kent Ridge High School as cops lined the property. We were all terrified that something was happening to our kids. Lorraine Dukes' grandchild is a student at Kent Ridge who lives with her. She says with recent deadly school shootings, some parents feared the worst. Especially after the school shooting the day before in Georgia. So <laughs> everybody was pretty scared um, out on the street and trying to figure out what's happening with the kids. But in this case, it was not a school shooting and no one was hurt. Kent police say the juvenile suspected in an armed carjacking near the school parked outside the school and then went inside. When he was found in the school, he did not have a gun on him. It's unclear how the suspect was able to get inside the school. A helicopter overhead was alerting neighbors. Just like a huge loud speaker, like um, please stay in your house. Um, it was some of it was blurred, so we couldn't hear the whole thing, but they flew over the house for hours. Dukes is critical of how the school handled the emergency with little information for hours. The lockdown started at like 950 something and we didn't hear anything till 1230. Um, so we had two and a half hours of not knowing anything and helicopters telling us to stay in the house and stuff. It's pretty scary to have a kid there. <laughs> Another Kent Ridge High School parent texted King five and said, I only found out when my daughter texted me. It wasn't until late yesterday that we heard anything from the school. I don't understand why there are no metal detectors or locked doors. After this, parents say they want to see changes, better communication and more security measures. I hadn't thought of that previously, but yeah, I think it should be locked. We do not know if the suspect is a student here, but we do know the suspect will face formal charges in court on Wednesday. I did reach out. I emailed and called the Kent School District asking how the suspect got inside and why it took so long to alert parents, but they have not gotten back to me. In Kent, Connor Board, King 5 News.